Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we begin, let's take a drink together, huh? Shall we? Cheers. I'm joking. Oh fucking sea oil is man. All of I thought all of oil was good for you, but it's not. Ah I'm gonna wash my hands later. So recently I made like improvements to my own athletic performance and overall health by just completely eliminating COs. Now, sometimes it may leak uh, when I'm going out to eat with my parents, even though I'm just ordering a steak, uh, it may leak in or something like that, but because of my dumb ass. But you may ask, why are sea oils even bad free? Well, again, I'm not a scientist. I'm not like Andrew Huberman. I'm not like Paul Saidi, you know, those types of men, those types of scientists. But I've done my own research, and I definitely have some bro science behind it, and um, and definitely I've done my own experimentation to see if it's actually true, and surprisingly, it is. Even though we were taught by our own parents or our teachers in 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 uh, nutrition class and everything by school, by the educational system, by online social media, and the government, like sea oils, it's a fucking scam. Hey, before we begin, my name's Coltran, and I wrestle and box. So I wrestle for my high school team, and I'm starting to get into amateur boxing. So well, I so I'm, this makes me very aware of what I put into my own body for fuel, for energy, uh, has, has uh, nutrition, and everything. So, out there, I, I see a lot of young men, a lot of young athletes, a lot of athletes overall doing the shit wrong because they're told the wrong advice. They follow the conventional advice of, uh, oh, eat carbs, you need your veggies, don't eat too much fat. Like, no. Uh, I've done it myself. I have experimented myself. And so, I want to help you guys with that. So, I made a link, a school community link down in the description below where I will offer and give you one-on-one -on -one help, like literally one-on-one -on -one help to improve your diet so that you can fulfill your fullest potential in your athletic sport and dominate your competition. So that's the first link in the description below, and that is if you want my one-on-one -on -one help with diet. Thank you guys for watching, and let's continue with the video. So back when I was a little chubby kid, now put a picture somewhere over here. I would basically like be eating McDonald's every single day. I would basically just wait for my dad to come home and like, Dad, are you hungry? And I would just ask him to take me to McDonald's. And you know, being a father, he, he loves his kids. He doesn't want to get the stars. So he takes me to McDonald's, right? I would order like the, the fucking quarter pound. I, I didn't like the Big Mac back then. I, I like the quarter pound. And the large fries with extra salt. And 10, 20 chicken pieces of chicken nugget in like this. Like, I would eat that all in one sitting. I was all fat kid back then. So, I would be eating all this food, and the grease of the fries would come off my, my finger. And I'm smelling, I'm, I'm like, it's fucking so good. No, uh, oh, I smell like this oil oil right here. I smell like this shit right here. So, sea oils are found like in every single fast food and ultra processed food because it's cost efficient. It's uh, it has a longer shelf life, and of course, it's it's great marketing. Like, oh, McDonald's switching to is switching from canola to olive oil. Oh, healthy. That may or may not be a truth claim. May not be, may or not be truth. I'm just making that up. But you know what you, you know what I mean, right? So sea oils or so so what are sea, sea oils? So sea oils are basically oils that are compressed from seeds so like peanuts, uh, flax seeds, um, corn, canola, olive oil, like etc. Right? They are all compressed into oil, like. There's, and there's also different kinds of compression, right? Uh, you can, for example, olive oil, right? For example, for olive, you can, like, cold press it 
which is like mechan which I think you do it mechanically. Um, and that would strip out the oil, and that would be at least at least be slightly healthier than um, oil of oil that are compressed um, in fucking big factories funded by big corporations. You know what I'm saying? And this also sold as a market in lies because back in 1960, back in like 1960, the 1960. Um, the sugar industry bribed Harvard scientists to lie about saturated fat and say that sugar is not the culprit in causing like heart diseases and high cholesterol or something like that, right? And they blame that on fat when in fat when you have when you eat a lot of saturated fat and I'm experimenting right now with the carnivore diet and I've done it. Um you you become so much more healthier and so much better eating saturated fat, right? But they don't want you to fucking believe this because they are trying to make profits, right? They are prioritizing money, profits over health, over the health of the consumer. So they are literally selling you this lie that sea oil is good, that you should use it because it's healthy for you and all this crap. But it's not... And no one profits, and like literally, no one profits from um, healthy people. They don't need medication. They don't need this. They don't need. Um, they don't need surgery. All right. They profit off surgery. They profit off medication. The big corporation profits off unhealthy people. I, I thought oil of oil was was it was an exception, but it's not. It's still a sea oil. And my mom's still using it, right? She she, she she doesn't know. And one of these days, I'm gonna get like the doctor on my show, like on uh, on my channel, and and then she will believe it. But until that day, she probably sue her oil of oil. You know what I'm saying? Sea oil is a really really fucking ultra process. They are made in like big factories, funded by big corporations, running big uh advertisement. Fucking saying, oh, if oil is so much more healthier than fucking beef tower or butter or something like that, right? Uh, use Ozempic, uh, whatever it is. So, but how are sea oils actually made, right? How how do you take it from a sea all the way to this, for example, right? How do you take an olive all the way to this? Right. Would you want to eat freaking, would you want to use like this piece of shit right here? Or sea oil, or, or the sea, or canola oil, peanut oil, sea oils, flax sea oil, soybean oil, like all this bullshit. Like, would you want to fucking use that again for cooking? Like, do you even want to touch it? Right? The smell of my fingertips is enough. It gave me a concussion, man. So, an actual set that you can take from this videos that can literally improve your life, that can improve your health. Your overall being, your longevity, and especially athletic performance, or even content function for any business work or anything related like that. Take up the seals and use butter, ghee, or beef towel, right? And you may be thinking, oh, there's a lot of saturated fat in it and everything, but. No, you've been lied to by the big corporation. Literally, in the 1960s, the sugar industry paid and bribed Harvard scientists to uh, lie about the, the, the causation or association of sugar and fat and saturated fat to high cholesterol, high heart disease um, outcomes. So, and for like the past millions of years, us humans, we, we fucking thrive on animal fat. We use probably butter and ghee, and especially beef tallow, like animal fats. So there's no problem to this. And personally, I have no worries about it. If you do, uh, it's on you. But if you worry about it, please just try it out for like 30 days, right? Or something like that, a few weeks, and see how that affects you. Like If you feel better, stick with it. If you don't, go back to seals. But again, 
don't believe in the lie that the big corporations are trying to sell you. Like literally, they are trying to profit off of your pains, off off of your problems, so that they can profit. You know, like they don't profit from a healthy human being. They don't profit from a fucking human who's an individual who's fucking looking out for their own health, who's self-experimenting and seeing what works and doesn't. You know what I'm saying? They don't profit from that because that type of person don't need surgery, they don't need medication, they don't need any treatments or prescription or anything like that. So that's it for this video. If you guys have found this valuable, please let me know and help the channel grow by subscribing, like, and sharing, and commenting below. Thank you guys for watching and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.